By the end of this video, you'll have a step-by-step -step process to improve collagen production within your body. Getting good amounts of collagen in your body is not just about eating literal collagen. It's about giving your body the tools that it needs to be able to create collagen. Creating collagen within the body is one of the most complex processes. So we have to take care of it and we have to know all the precursors to actual collagen production. So we'll cover the amino acids you need to get in. We'll cover some supporting vitamins and minerals. Then we'll cover some specific things that you can actually take that are gonna help you out. And then I'm gonna talk about advanced glycation in products and how you can actually literally cook your food differently to improve how your body builds collagen. Now I do wanna make sure you hit that red subscribe button and then hit that bell icon for notifications so that you never miss one of our daily videos. So a quick overview. Collagen production is all about pro-collagen, which is formed from vitamin C, combining with various amino acids to ultimately form what are called fibrils. Now fibrils end up weaving together to form a structure, okay? So they form this really just solid skeletal-like structure. Collagen is not like other proteins in the body. Collagen has to have a lot of density and a lot of structural integrity because it is holding up, it's the scaffolding of our body. So it's different. So when we look at it like that, we can start understanding, well, what do I need to consume? What do I need to do differently? Well, number one, you still have to get the amino acids in place, okay? So yes, when we look at collagen, it's just a few amino acids, but different forms of collagen require different amino acids. And if you're not eating meat, then you have to make sure you're getting lots of different aminos from different sources. See, I'm gonna have something pop up on the screen so that this just makes a lot of sense really quick. So collagen is just this. It's glycine, which is an amino acid, plus proline, which is an amino acid, X. And that X can be any one of 17 different amino acids. So you can see the different combinations we have there. Now, additionally, it's glycine, X hydroxyproline. Again, the X just being any amino acid that can be substituted in there. So you see with that simple explanation that there's a lot of variance there and we have to make sure we have an abundant pool of amino acids for the body to pull from. So that's step one and it's very, very, very important. So step two is going to be getting lots of vitamin C and a modest amount of zinc. You see, vitamin C is required for the actual formation. Without vitamin C, we cannot form what's called hydroxyproline. We cannot actually form the structural integrity that we need. And what's funny is we don't produce vitamin C. Some mammals produce vitamin C. In fact, most mammals naturally produce vitamin C. But humans, at some point, lost the ability to produce vitamin C. So if we're for any reason deficient or we're immunocompromised because we're stressed out, our body is zapping vitamin C, which is why we're supposed to take vitamin C when we get sick. So if you take larger amounts of vitamin C, then you can ride the storm and be able to get through that and make it so your body still has what it needs. Did you know if you're deficient in vitamin C and you're like getting sick a lot and things like that? Well, you'll notice it in your skin. Well, let me explain something to you. So, so think of it like this, okay, you've got, your amino acids, and that's great, but just having the amino acids to build collagen isn't enough. You see, your amino acids would be like building your scaffolding with a deck of cards. Like you're building a house of cards, and sure, if everything is right, it might have structure and it might stay intact, but the second anything wobbles it, it's gonna fall over. You don't want your hair, your skin, your nails being built out of a house of cards because it's gonna make them brittle and they'll break right off. So vitamin C makes it so that you're building that out of wood and screws and nails where it's actually going to have structure. So vitamin C is really the, the star here. And then zinc, of course, helps reinforce that even more. So don't have a house of cards for a head of hair. Next up is silica. Now, naturally in our bodies, we have like five to seven grams of silica hanging out. And that's usually what's responsible for giving hair kind of a shiny look and feel. And it has a lot of different attributes. But basically what silica does is it helps with what are called glycose aminoglycans, which are technically kind of a form of sugar that react to ultimately allow collagen to be synthesized. So if we don't have silica, then collagen doesn't really work really well. And this is especially true when it comes down to structure. Okay, so if you're deficient in silica or you are going through a point where you're really just depleting nutrients in your body, then that's how your hair, skin, and nails can ultimately get weak. So you do wanna be supplementing in with a little silica whenever you can. Okay, next up's gonna be hyaluronic acid. Now you might know of hyaluronic acid from like topical uh, creams and things like that. 
a lot of times we'll see them where you just put it under your eyes and it helps get a little bit of puffiness there so that you can get rid of dark circles and get rid of wrinkles because it draws so much water. Well, it's highly osmotic, okay? So that means it draws water. Well, we actually have hyaluronic acid inside our body that's playing a role too. And it plays a really big role when it comes to collagen formation, okay? Because it helps give it sort of that elastic component, okay? That's, that's, we can't have just total rigidness. We have to have elastic components and rigid components. It's very important there. And the hyaluronic acid draws the water so you have nice supple skin that's smooth and flexible. And the same with your hair. You don't want super brittle nails. Hyaluronic acid plays a role in that. So you can supplement with hyaluronic acid. I will say one of the products that I've recommended to not just friends of mine, but also my wife who really just likes to improve collagen levels in her body and things like that. It's gonna be Sun Warriors Collagen Boosting Peptides. They have these short chains of basically amino peptides. So what that means is they're easily digested, but more importantly, they have the hyaluronic acid in there, they have the vitamin C in there, they have the other attributes that are really required to allow collagen to be formed within the body in a technically a vegan formula. So I did go ahead and I put the link down below, no pressure at all. I just know that if you're watching this video, you're probably interested in products that can help with that too. And this one kind of covers all the bases of the things that I'm talking about. So big thank you to Sun Warrior for helping out with this channel, making this video possible. But also just make sure you check them out after you watch this video because you'll get a special discount if you use that link down below too. Number five is something that you can start doing differently that's going to allow collagen to form better. See, collagen is in a constant tug of war with formation and breakdown. So if we can slow down breakdown, we can allow formation to exceed. And one of the ways that we can slow down breakdown is actually controlling what are called advanced glycation end products. So think of uh, caramelizing an onion for a minute. Okay, if you were to cook an onion and put it in a, uh, a pan and you were to add a little bit of oil to it and caramelize it, it kind of gets crispy and everything like that, right? Well, the same thing happens inside your body to some degree. You basically have sugars that react with proteins and it makes it so they glycate. So when you consume high amounts of sugar or you cook specific things at a very high temperature, the cross reaction of temperature with proteins and fats and all those different starches and things like that cause glycation end products, advanced glycation end products. And those bind to the collagen fibers and make them brittle. That is one of the leading ways that we deplete our collagen stores is by just advanced glycation end products. So here's two quick things that you can do to make sure that that doesn't happen. If you grill any food, whether it's veggies, meat, or anything, to be honest, first of all, marinate it in a little bit of citrus. That reduces the advanced glycation end products that are formed. So even your veggies, even your eggplant, if you're gonna put it on the grill, marinate it in a little bit of citrus, some lemon, some juice, whatever. But even more importantly, is if you're cooking any kind of thing that has fat in it, you want to add an additional fat. So point would be like, if you're going to cook some eggplant, which has a little bit of natural fat in it, you want to make sure that you're adding some avocado oil when you cook it, because what you want to do is you want to provide a healthy fat that isn't going to glycate. Anyhow, just quick little tips that might help you get a little bit more out of your collagen formation. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.